I thought all my batteries were gonna be dead because I haven't charged them in forever, but luckily this one isn't. Ooh! Apparently it's going to be raining for the rest of the day, so I'm going to put on something comfortable. I would love to hop back into bed because I feel like I can sleep for another 12 hours, but I feel like once I'm like in the groove of lashing, I'll be fine. I am home from working and I didn't film anything from my second client but we ended up doing like a volume wispy doll eye set on her but I, I just got home and now I need to go get groceries because my fridge is literally empty so I'm gonna go ahead and do that take my little grandma cart with me um, so yeah, I'm gonna go do that and then when I get back I'll do a little grocery haul and I have a FaceTime planned with one of my best friends. So we're gonna FaceTime tonight, which I'm really excited about. So probably won't do much more vlogging after I've done my groceries, but I can't wait to FaceTime with her because we haven't spoken in forever. And our friendship is like long distance. So she's out in New York, I'm out here in Rotterdam. I'm just excited to get on the phone with her. I wish I could just lay down in bed right now. <laughs> Because I had my period for like, well, today was day 10 basically, but it's starting to like dry out or like I'm not really bleeding much anymore. It's just like a little bit of spotting. So hopefully today will be the last fucking day because I've never had a period this long. At least not in like the past few years. Like I can't re remember or recall. It was a really weird cycle. Anyways. All right, please ignore the background. I know it's a mess. I'm gonna spend this weekend working on that. I think I wanna do like a full on Sunday reset. I don't even know how this vlog's gonna turn out, but I'm still gonna edit it and post it because at this point, like I'm done looking for perfection and I just wanna vlog and do my thing. Quick reminder, comment questions for my little get ready with me video giving a life update and talking about this past year and everything else why i wanted to quit social media you know the drill okay quick grocery haul before i end it off because i'm done for today obviously on top i mean are we surprised i still love these actually like stopped eating them for a little bit but yeah these are bad these are bad and then This is my absolute favorite granola. I eat this every morning with a smoothie bowl and everyone needs this. It has like a bunch of protein in there. It's bomb, it's bomb, so I had to get it. I got some flour and some baking soda because I wanna do some baking this weekend and I have like no baking supplies. As well as chocolate chips. I got some white sugar. I got some unsalted butter. I also got some oatmeal because I thought maybe I'll end up making some type of oatmeal cookie or like oatmeal snack. 
I love some oatmeal, like oatmeal cookie with chocolate chips. I don't know, I just wanted to have some variety of things depending on what I'm craving this weekend I'll make. Um, I got frozen fruit. I love mixing blueberries and raspberries in my smoothie bowl. Barista oat milk because I like using this in my smoothie bowl because it tastes different than regular oat milk. It's like more creamy and like it tastes better. So, And then lastly, what is a Lisa vlog without Fanta? Who am I without Fanta? I don't know. And like I'm still waiting for them to sponsor me at this point. It's been years. And if there's one person that would fit a Fanta sponsorship, it would be me. So... I stocked up, y'all. Alrighty. This should be way better. All right. <laughs> well. Till I let it burn, but never lose my desire. desire. Had it from the moment that I felt my first love. I knew I'd never get enough of you. I take the risk like I'm bulletproof. Shot, shots in my heart, but it pleads the truth. Part of every little thing I do, like a tattoo. Just like a tattoo love, love. I'll always have you Like a weapon, you slay me forever. 
connected like a tattoo. Just like a tattoo. I'll always have you. You should 
crying ocean for me For the dumb shit and the damage you've done Cause I've been crying oceans for weeks Try to fight it but I'm drowning alone I started vlogging a few weeks ago um, and getting back in the groove until I f was feeling awful, you know. I think I talked about how I was having a period for two weeks and then after that, I went through a roller coaster. A few months ago, I had unprotected sex. It was not planned, but you know, shit happened. So um, I'm very aware of my body and I started no noticing like so many changes. And up until like after that period, you know, I was like something's going on with my cycle, like things fell off. So I ended up going to the doctor for it um, and I had a male doctor and I had an awful experience, which maybe I will talk about one day, but he did not take me serious. He actually made me cry. Um, he did apologize after, like he called me back and he was like sorry for the way that I acted, but it was just awful and I got like an abdominal ultrasound which didn't show anything um, but things were happening and like literally the past week my stomach <laughs> I actually looked pregnant like I was just like 
I felt so crazy because I was like, everything, like pregnancy test is negative. Like, but why am I feeling this way? My stomach was growing and I still have like, I haven't seen my abs in forever and I have not gained weight. So I still feel like something's going on with me. Anyway, I ended up going back to the doctor today and this morning has been the biggest roller coaster ever because while we were doing the ultrasound, we ended up seeing something and then the doctor suspected an ectopic pregnancy, which basically mean that's like when a fetus like develops outside of the uterus. It can be in like the fallopian tube, in an ovary, I think. But um, we saw something and it literally, y'all, <laughs> I cannot get this image out of my head. And like once I heard him say that, I was like, God, please let this not be true. Or at least let it please be in my uterus anyway, like if it is. I mean, the gynecologist was like, it was probably like a part of your intestines or something. Anyway, he still ended up sending me to the gynecologist because we saw that. Um, pregnancy test of the doctor was negative. The gynecologist was like, if it's ectopic, then a test should come out positive either way. He had another look. My uterus looked fine. So did my ovaries. Did a blood test, came out negative. So I'm not pregnant, but like, like the left side of my lower belly is still kind of swollen. They did see quite a bit of fluid as well around my uterus, which I mean, I don't know if that, that's bad or not. Um, but yeah, I'm just to say I'm not pregnant, but the past few weeks have been an absolute roller coaster, you guys. It actually makes me tear up thinking about it because I genuinely did not know what to do with myself, especially like the one thing like not being taken serious by doctors. Please, if you ever feel like something's wrong, don't ever let a doctor like gaslight you into thinking that you're just like being crazy. Because even though, you know, everything came out negative and i'm not actually pregnant something's still going on because my body is just behaving differently but i don't know i just needed to share this because i just got home from doing lashes and i was like i was supposed to edit my vlog and post it already but then all of this happened and blue need doing he's chewing on his nails nay need do nor um all of this was happening and I just could not get myself on camera to be honest because I was like I don't even want to show myself like this I'm still obviously worried about my body so it's something that I still need to like have them look into what's going on exactly it's so easy to just feel like you're going crazy but there's nothing more beautiful than being in tune with your body and knowing like what's normal and what isn't so I Blue is being dramatic because he hears me talking and he wants attention. Yeah, anyway, I don't know. I hope you enjoy this vlog. <laughs> this is the reason why it's so late and I don't even remember what I vlogged, but I think next week or something I'll start a new vlog to get myself back into the groove again. If you were wondering why it was taking so long because I posted on my story, I'm editing a vlog for you guys, and then everything went to shit, so that's why. <laughs> yeah. I've been trying to push out the piercing ball on my lip. If you want to know what to do with that, go to my TikTok. Um, it didn't work. So yeah, it's still in there. I need to go to the doctor, I know, but it's like, oh, I don't know what to do. <laughs>